Now this one was a special request I got asked about. Let's go. Okay, so common question. What deck should I buy? All of them. Buy them all. Spend your money, spend your allowance, spend whatever you have left at the end of the month after your bills are paid, and buy cards. That's what I do. My wife probably hates me for it. Today we are going to be looking at the Madison Gold Revolvers by Illusionist.com and Daniel Madison. The Gold Revolvers were designed by Daniel Madison in collaboration with Illusionist Playing Card Company. We're looking at an extremely minimalistic tuck case with the gold Daniel Madison foil stamp. The back design of the tuck case is the back design of the cards. You can see it's a repeating logo of the old Daniel Madison print. For the bottom of the tuck, we're going to be looking at some ad copy for Illusionist.com. The top of the tuck case says Madison Revolvers. Again, with Daniel Madison's logo printed up top. The inside of the tuck flap has a nine of clubs reveal, which is Daniel Madison's favorite card. And the inside of the tuck is just white cardstock. All right, so now to get into the actual cards themselves, you can see the back design is a foil stamped gold color. It really catches light well. I'm trying to make sure that the reflection isn't too much. I don't want it to blow out the back design of the card. The cards also feature a thick poker border. They come printed on a casino grade stock by United States Playing Card Company, so they are about the same thickness as a deck of B playing cards, if you've ever used B playing cards. They are traditionally cut, which uh, apparently is good for uh, things like table deals and shuffling. Let's see. They farrow into each other nicely. And for you Daniel Madison lovers out there, you'll notice that the standard Daniel Madison courts come printed on these cards with Daniel Madison himself as the King of Diamonds and every color stripped from the classic court cards minus the red and black. The deck does come with a blank face card which is good for magic tricks or you could use it as a cut card if you're dealing cards. Now one thing you're definitely going to notice with this deck is the Ace of Spades is completely standard. It looks the same as uh, all the other aces except the power ace in this deck being the ace of diamonds. You can see it's a blown up diamond pip as Daniel Madison's logo. Pretty interesting, definitely interesting. You can find these cards uh, at a couple of different places. Uh, the best place to go obviously is illusionist.com. See if you can get them there. I always prefer to buy my cards from the source. I think this deck itself uh, is gonna run you, I'm gonna say between 12 and 15 bucks. This deck also does come in red. There are the Madison Red Revolvers, which might look as good. I actually don't have those. I might have them around here somewhere. I don't know if I have them. Maybe I do. As far as uh, general handling and first impression goes, these cards are pretty soft out of the box, which is nice. They feel exactly like B cardstock. So I happen to love, absolutely love, B playing cards. The stock and the cambric finish that they're on is absolutely amazing to me. Um, but the design is extremely boring. Also, I prefer my cards with white borders, so um, this is kind of the best of both worlds. The cards farrow top to bottom easily. Obviously, you get that spring. This deck technically did not come with jokers. It did come with two uh, cut cards that have the same back design as the rest of the cards and a red face that just has Daniel Madison's logo on them. I had them in this deck. I actually took them out and they're, uh, they're hanging on one of my walls in a frame. One thing I will say is when cards have uh, extremely thick borders like this one, uh, after some use, the cards might clump up a little bit. You'll want those thick borders because it'll kind of mask uh, that fan and the clumpiness, so it'll keep them looking nice. Now, if you watch my top five favorite decks video, you'll see that uh, two different Daniel Madison decks are in my top five, and that is the Rounders and the uh, SWE deck. These definitely wouldn't make my top five for a couple of reasons. Number one being uh, the foil stamping on the back looks great. And it's a good one to have for your collection. It's maybe if you wanted to perform with a really, really shiny, flashy deck, uh, this would be a good one. But uh, other than that, in standard performance, these cards have a little bit too much bling for me. 
All right, now how do they compare to other Daniel Madison decks that you might own? Uh, they're, they're not on a crushed stock, so these ones are gonna be a little bit thicker than other Madison decks you might own, especially if you have the rounders, and especially, especially if you have the pink rounders. Uh, I have the pink rounders, and those are on a double crushed stock, so they're extremely thin. Uh, these cards are well thicker than that. Hey, there goes Peter McKinnon. Anyway, that's my spiel on the Madison Gold Revolvers. I highly recommend picking some up if you're a fan of Illusionist, or if you're a fan of Daniel Madison, or if you're a fan of playing cards, or if you're a fan of magic or gambling. Anyway, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Definitely leave a comment what other decks you would like me to review. Sometime this weekend, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing for you, and uh, I got a special request to review the Knights playing cards by Daniel Madison and Chris Ramsey. What I'm probably gonna do with that video is just compare the gold V1s to the red V2s. That's in the pipeline, don't know when, but stick with me. Let me know if you guys are interested in that down below in the comments. And again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you later this weekend.